Start with Snow Tracker overnight because here's what I'm looking for. I just did get a, another report out of Hanoverton. Around two inches of snow have already fallen there. So laying right in line with what we were looking for here uh, tonight. Anywhere from one to three inches a possibility that heaviest snow falling down into southeastern Columbiana County, the central and southeastern parts of Lawrence County. We're into pretty much the bulk of the heaviest snow right now as we look at Doppler radar. And from here on out, the snow intensity will start lightening up as we go into tomorrow morning. So here's a look. Lots of snow. We're snowing from end to end here across eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. That includes all of Mercer County, all of Trumbull County, down to Mahoning County. County. Uh, not as uh, intense of snow as what we had around a little earlier this evening, but still snowing at a pretty good clip here across uh, parts of Columbiana County. Out to the west, the back edge of this snow moving into the Mansfield area, and this just will go poof pretty much as we go into early tomorrow morning as a storm moves off to the eastern coast and it'll take away all this steady snow. But as we get into the day tomorrow, we'll look for more snow showers to develop. This time they will be enhanced by Lake Erie and the cold temperatures. So here we go the rest of the evening. The steady snow moving on out of here, uh, laying a blanket of snow down enough to cause some tricky travel. You saw live drive action cam a little earlier in the newscast. The roads are getting covered uh, even where they've been treated. They'll quickly get covered before that treatment can work. Uh, slippery spots possible right into uh, first news tomorrow morning. Rich will be in here taking an eye uh, looking at uh, snow showers across the area, but this time they'll be more scattered into the early morning, but it's going to be cold and blustery around 20 degrees and then on and off snow showers possible tomorrow. In between those snow showers, don't be surprised to see a few peaks of sunshine, but it will stay cold. Temperatures only in the middle 20s. Wind chills dropping close to uh, the single digits in a few spots. And if you get stuck underneath one of these snow showers, the best chance up in the snow belt could see around an inch or less an isolated spot up to two additional inches uh, for tomorrow. The best chance of that up in the snow belt, but it does stay cold right into tomorrow night and toward uh, Friday morning before we start to warm up once again. So here's a look at your temperatures tonight, a uh, middle 20s now, and of course uh, that has helped uh, the snow stick to those road surfaces across the region. We'll drop to 20 overnight, snow likely uh, total overnight accumulation. That includes what's fallen and what will fall from here on out. One to three inches uh, that heavier snow uh, mainly into Columbia County on that higher end tomorrow 24 scattered snow showers again around an inch or less underneath most of those snow bands isolated could see up to two. Uh, 24. That's a cold day. In fact, it's the coldest one of the next seven. Uh, we drop into the low teens tomorrow night before we start our warm up. 32 on Friday, mostly cloudy. Going to leave a 20% chance of an isolated flurry in there. Uh, Saturday, we start dry, but by afternoon, rain showers move back in, pushing toward 50 degrees. We are in the mid 50s on Sunday. Scattered rain showers around, and then we'll cool off a little, but still not cold. 41 on Monday, 40 on Tuesday, and mid 30s and snow showers return by next Wednesday.